welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VIII. But on this day in Tudor history, the 14th of August 1513, William Parr, Marquess of Northampton and brother of Queen Catherine Parr was born. He was the only surviving son of Sir Thomas Parr of Kendal and his wife Maud Green and was probably born at Blackfriars in London. At the age of 11, Parr joined the household of Henry VIII's illegitimate son, Henry Fitzroy, Duke of Richmond and Somerset, at Sheriff Hutton. And in 1527, he married Lady Anne Boucher, the 10-year-old daughter of Henry Boucher, Earl of Essex. Parr was knighted in 1538 and created Baron Parr of Kendal in 1539 but failed to secure the title of Earl of Essex when his father-in-law died because Thomas Cromwell took it. His marriage to Anne Boucher was unhappy, with Anne eloping and giving birth to an illegitimate child in 1543. The couple legally separated, but Parr was unable to marry his new love, Elizabeth Brooke, daughter of Baron Cobham, because he was not granted a divorce. In April 1543, Parr was elected to the Order of the Garter and in December of that year, he was finally made Earl of Essex due to the influence of his sister, Catherine, who'd married the king in July 1543. Parr went on to become captain of the Gentlemen Pensioners and a member of Henry VIII's Privy Council. In 1547, Parr was made Marquess of Northampton after supporting Edward Seymour in his bid to become Lord Protector and Duke of Somerset. A commission ruled in favour of his divorce shortly after he married Elizabeth Brooke in 1547. But Somerset punished Parr for his marriage by removing him from the Privy Council and ordering him to leave Elizabeth. The divorce was finally granted in 1551 and his marriage to Elizabeth was made legal. But their happiness was short-lived because Parr was imprisoned in the Tower of London in July 1553 for his part in helping to put Lady Jane Grey on the throne. His divorce was rescinded and he was stripped of his honours, lands and titles. Parr was lucky to escape with his life and he was pardoned in January 1554 and released in March 1554 after no evidence was found linking him to Wyatt's rebellion. He was restored in blood, but it took three years for him to restore some of his estates. Parr was restored in favour in Elizabeth I's reign, serving on her Privy Council and being restored as Marquess of Northampton. He was also granted several stewardships, which he'd held prior to his imprisonment. His divorce was recognised once again, but his wife Elizabeth died in April 1565. Parr married his third wife, Elena Snakenborg, the daughter of a Swedish nobleman, in May 1571, but he died in Warwick on the 28th of October that same year. He is buried in the chancel of the Collegiate Church of St Mary in Warwick, with the Queen paying for his burial. It's also the resting place of Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 14th of August 1473, Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, was born. Margaret Pole is a fascinating lady, the niece of Edward IV, Countess of Salisbury in her own right, governess to Mary I, and she came to a rather awful and sticky end. And you can find out more about her in last year's video, and you'll find a link to that in the description for this video. You can subscribe by clicking around about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. You can leave a comment and give me a like. I'll be back tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.